Hello, hello, hello. I am still alive. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It is Miska Cat One here, or Jen. Uh, it's been a long time. If you have not been, um, if this is your first time watching, um, this is my channel. I talk about stitching. There will probably be guest appearances for my cats, and there will be some knitting towards the end. A whole lot, crap load of stuff, because it's been three months ish. So, first of all, I want to apologize for my delay of returning. Um, for those of you that don't know, my husband works seasonally, so um, he's off pretty much all summer, and it's really hard for me to get videos in without being interrupted at home, so, so that's where I've been. But, on the other hand, I've been getting so much stuff done, so um, this is going to be a long one. I suggest grab a drink, grab a snack, definitely grab some stitching, and... Let's get to it, I guess. Um, where should I start? I have three finishes. I have a whole bunch of progress. Um, I have plans for coming up. Um, I have camp coming up, so I'll talk about that a little bit later, and I'll fill you in on what I'd like to accomplish by the end of the year. They're pretty lofty goals. I don't know if they'll happen or not. No sense uh, not trying, right? So, so I guess let's start, I guess, kind of towards maybe what has the least amount of progress on it. Let's start there. Um, so the first one I will show you is going to be everybody's favorite. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, just because I don't remember if I showed you my update on her last time. But this is Grove by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, so I haven't, I kind of lost steam on her. So there's a little bit that's been accomplished, but not really a whole lot. Um, so I think the last time you saw her, I just finished up the second row. So this is what she looks like. That is what she looks like and I managed to get just this little bit of a start on the next page so like I say not a whole lot but there's a start on the third row so I am super happy with her I do want to get more done on her. Probably not this year. I think for the rest of the year I'm not going to be working on any um, full coverage pieces and that will go into my plans for next year, which I will talk about later. So that's where she is as of this moment. So, like I say, not a whole lot done on her. I really did kind of lose steam on her. So. Um, so the next thing that I guess I will show you will be the new start that I had. Uh, the new start that I had was a stitch along, slowest stitch along ever, um, but I started with Kim. Hey Kim, look at it, I'm actually doing a video. It's inspired by yours, apparently, um, which I did watch. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked out Kim in Canada, go check her out. She is my girl, definitely my girl. So, um, so we decided to start um, a full coverage piece together. This is um, designed by um, the lady that owns my LNS here. And you'll have to excuse me, my um, we were at a camp, not a campfire, a bonfire the other night, and I think all the smoke has 
either aggravated my allergies or I just got too cold that night and then I'm coming down with something, but my nose is a little itchy and issues. Anyways, um, we decided to start um, Red Dress, and this is designed by the lady that owns my LNS. Um, she owns the frame corner here in Edmonton, and her name is Catherine Lee. And she has done this picture um, to commemorate um, the missing and murdered Indigenous women here in Canada um, because it's a huge problem that has not gotten any or very little recognition over the last couple of years. So um, the photography is done by Gr Bert Crowfoot and she has charted it into a cross-stitch pattern. Um, this is a really bad picture of what it will look like when it's done because um, my printer kind of crapped out on ink but I think you kind of get the gist of it and we decided to start it on when did we start it June 21st which was um, National Indigenous Day so Indigenous Persons Day can't remember um, but we decided to start it that day. Kim decided to start in the bottom. Here. I think she started on this page in the corner. Um, I started page one. And there's so much progress done. You will all be shocked. And this is how far I managed to get. So not a whole lot done, um, really not a whole lot done. There's a lot of confetti in this, which you'd probably guess um, with all the trees and everything in it. This is very comparable to a hate. So this is going to be a while to get done. It is in total 32 pages, with the last page only being a single row. but. Um, it's going to take a while, um, and again, this will kind of lead into my plans for next year. Because I would like to, I've seen this, um, there's a group of ladies that are working on this. They're doing it as a round robin um, type style, and it's beautiful. Like, it's so nice um, what I've seen actually stitched up of it, so um, I'd like to obviously invest some serious time into this and get, you know, even a couple pages done in the next little bit. So, again, sorry about the notes. So that was our little new start um, that we decided to do. Um, and for right now, she is living in this bag that I made, this gorgeous girl bag. Not entirely on par with the picture that's in it, but it is a girl in a red dress, so as close as I can come off this. So, so she's going to live in here for the next rest of my life, because that will probably be how long it takes me to actually finish that. Um, I'd say Libby. Um, the next thing, <laughs> This is going to be a hot mess of a video, guys. It's all over the place already. Um, the next thing that I will show you... Oh! So the reason I didn't do a whole lot on Red Dress is I got distracted by the 100 Days of Hade Challenge. And of course, the goal with that is to stitch on a Hade every day for 100 days. And I thought that was a great challenge. So obviously I couldn't use red dress for that because it wasn't an actual hate. That was part of the rules. Um, so I signed up for the Facebook group. I signed up for the one, like, signed up on the one post and then I forgot to include my email address on the second post. So. Technically, I wasn't really registered for the challenge. 
I didn't know that for the first little bit. So I was like all gung-ho. And then when I kind of found that out, I kind of lost steam on my hay. But I did manage to get a fair amount of progress done. I did use it for the 1200 stitches on the Full Coverage Fanatics Facebook page. So I did get that much done. But then I just kind of lost steam on it. So the piece that I decided to pull out for that is my uh, One Fairy's Top by Hayde, obviously. And the artwork is by James Christensen. And this is what it looks like, or will look like. Again, in a million years when it's all done. But I did manage to get a fair amount of progress done on this. So that is where I got to. Um, pretty much all of this confetti up here is what I did during the challenge. Um, I did a little bit of filling in kind of down here and a little bit up here, but most of it is the confetti that I did. And this is what the whole piece looks like so far. And I have realized with this piece, the best way for me to kind of tackle it is to take one color and I think I'm going to do the entire top row and I'm just going to go all the way across just with one color um, because it is very speckled and especially the background like it's just a mishmash of like confetti. So I'm going to take one color I'm going to go from page one till I think six all the way across and then I'm going to take the next color and go start filling in and then just kind of approach it that way because I think it will just be um, this right here actually was tolerable to do um, instead of trying to stitch in blocks um, as I normally would um, so that's the way I'm gonna kind of approach this so I'm really happy with what I got done and I'm looking forward to working on this again I'm gonna work on it I'm taking it to camp with me, so I plan on getting a full day's work in on it there. So hopefully I can make some decent progress in a day. I don't know. We'll see. Hanging around with a bunch of chatty ladies, I don't know how much I'll actually get done. But that is, uh, that's going to be the goal anyways. So, so I worked on that, and then... Like I say, just kind of, when I found out I wasn't actually registered for the challenge, I kind of just lost steam on it. So, say la vie. I think um, Full Coverage Fanatics is doing a similar challenge, although it doesn't have to be paid um, next year. So, I did sign up for that. Um, so, I will be doing that. I don't know which piece I'm going to choose for it, but hopefully. And it's not 100 days, I think it's 90 days. If I'm correct yeah I'm pretty sure it's 90 days so and the goal is the same thing like you have to stitch on the one piece every day even if it's just a single stitch so it's doable totally doable oh this nose is driving me crazy okay so I managed to do that the next piece I guess I will show you will be my Mira, which is going to be Florentina. So pretty. And I am doing her skin one over one, as what crazy people do. I managed to get a little bit more done on her. Not a crazy amount. Um, but that is where I've gotten to. And this is a piece of fabric that was hand dyed by Kim in Canada. 
perfect fabric for this piece. So I've started her arm, the one over one. And my lighting is not very good today. But I managed to get a fair amount of her dress done. So this is actually the back of her dress. Um, and then the pillar will go, will start right underneath her. So. So I'm super happy with what I was able to get accomplished. And I will be taking her to camp as well. What happened to my needle minder in this one? Um, I will be taking her to camp as well too and hopefully getting a full day worth of work on her as well too. So. pretty far on her last camp so um, so yeah next next I'm trying to think I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> it's been so long um, I guess the next thing will be my fantasy cell and if you guys remember the last time I showed you this I was complaining <laughs> about how much I wasn't really enjoying it it's not that I don't enjoy it it's just I've learned that I kind of want to know what the whole piece looks like before I jump into something does that make sense there's some blocks I absolutely love, other ones not entirely crazy about. So, but like I say, I have too much invested in this now that I can't, I don't want to not finish it because then it would be a complete waste. So I did manage to pull this out. I actually got a fair amount done. So first of all, I got pretty much the whole border done. The only thing that I'm missing is the next uh, single row of stitching all the way around and that I've said right from the very beginning I'm going to save till the very end because I want it because it's a variegated thread I want it to blend nice all the way around so I had what did I have I had pretty much from the center here I think to about here that I had to do so that border is done the next thing is I finished this little block here, which was the December Elf. So I'm not sure if you guys remember as well too, I've changed every single color in this. So as I was saying, <laughs> um, I've changed every single color in this piece. Um, some of them I've kept similar to the right colors, um, like the Phoenix here was obviously all in red and oranges, but I did, um, I've been trying to use up whatever I have in my stash. So, and everything is either a hand dyed silk or a hand dyed cotton. Because I have so many of them and I wanted to obviously use them. So, um, so the first block that I finished was December here. And he was supposed to be a Robin and I think his jacket was orange, or his jacket was green, and he had orange and red um, stripes on his scarf. But I changed it to be how it is. And then the next block that I had was this little fairy elf strawberry guy. And originally this one was, he had, he had the same color outfit as a strawberry. And I want to say that this purple cowl around him was green. So he looked like a strawberry. And to me, it was just too much, too much red. So I still gave him the red hat and obviously the strawberries, but 
that's what I changed him to. And then I made a start on, I think this is the July block. And this is a little fairy with a flower is what it is. So this is my other, this is actually kind of my least favorite block. So I want to do this one before I do the two, the last two, which are these two up here, which are two of my favorites. So I think this one's a little gnome and he's got like a little um, mushroom umbrella for April. And then this one is a dragon. So, so I'm going to do this one done first because I'm not crazy about it. And I just want to get it over and done with. And then I have two more blocks. So three more blocks and an outline border and this one will be done. So my piece box is falling apart. But that is this is what this one is looking like all together. So close, so close guys. This year, this year. When exactly? Not sure, but I will get this finished this year. I think I said that last year too, but for real, for real this time. So I'm gonna work on this, I don't know when, maybe October. I have a couple of things that I'm trying to focus on finishing this month. What do you see? It's pretty amazing. Um, first and then after these are done, after those are done, then I can focus on, on this one. Because it is cute. It is a cute design. I just, I kind of got sucked into the whole everybody else is doing it thing and I'm really not a stitch along person because I have a hard time keeping up and that kind of bugs me so oh well but I have managed to get progress on it the progress is good um, and I am looking forward to having it done I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet because it's not something I would really put in my house, but we'll see. Maybe I'll turn it into a pillow or maybe a wall hanging that I can pull out and hang up and then put it away a couple times a year. I don't know. I don't know. Too many options. Okay, the other thing that I've worked on is um, my Pandora's box. And this is another one that I'm not... Everybody loves this piece. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But again, it's not really my my style of what I like to work on. But again, I'm going to finish it because I have time and materials and everything else invested in it. So I have done a few more blocks. Um, where did I leave off? last time this is what the whole thing looks like first of all so it looks super nice especially on the black I really do like it on the black it's not my thing um, so I managed to get a few of these done I believe this one I stitched and there's a mistake in it and I don't care This was supposed to go one row higher or something. It doesn't really bother me. At least it's a central mistake, so it kind of looks like it's supposed to be maybe a little bit wider in the middle. I don't know. And then this one I managed to do. This one I did, and then I made a start on this other black work. So I still have quite a bit of the four-sided stitch 
border to do. So I kind of quit up in the corner here. So I have that to do this whole corner. There's another line of five boxes on the bottom. And then I'll have to do the four sided stitch all the way around. So there's still a lot of even prep work to do on this one. But what I'm hoping to do at camp, because everything happens at camp, is I'd like to do one block a day. They're pretty small. They only take maybe a couple of, like a couple hours tops to do. So I kind of want to make that my goal. Just do one and then I can put it away and work on whatever else I want. And then at least if I did five blocks, that would be like the next row done. Like a full row and then I would just have three and then the border to do. And that would be tolerable, I think. I really do like it. Don't get me wrong, like it's really nice. I've learned though, after doing this small piece, as much as I love Save the Stitches, nope. I admire people that can do it. It is a beautiful piece. I just can't do that much black work. Not my thing. As beautiful as it is, as much as I would want it, I just don't have the patience for that. <clears throat> Which is kind of, I guess, maybe the nice thing about these samplers, samplers, stitch alongs. They're usually not huge, so it kind of gives you the chance to try new things before you invest a lot of time into something. Um, I don't know. I really do like this. This is going to be a pillow when it's done because it's going to be nice and square, but um, again, I have my goals. Okay, so I guess maybe I will talk about my goals for a little bit for the rest of the year and what my goals I think are going to be next year. So I have my Mira, which I'm considering, call me crazy, a small piece. I'm considering anything full coverage, not part of this, but everything else is kind of part of it. So I have my Mira. I have my Fantasy Cell. I have Pandora's Box, which is the black work piece that I just showed you. I have, sorry, I'm looking at my list here. I have Summer Afternoon. I have, which is a Bellpole Chatelaine, which I will show you in a bit. I have Gathering Honey, my Quaker Gone Spooky, and I have a whole bunch of like little mini projects that I want to do. I had three other pieces on this list and they're done. So what I would like to do with the exception of one other small, so meaning not full coverage piece, is I want to have them all finished by the end of the year. Crazy, right? <laughs> Especially the Mira. And I'm not including my two large Chatelaines either as well in this because those are just, they're crazy. What I want to happen is I think next year on the Fall Coverage Fanatics Facebook group challenge, they're starting a new one next year for people that really want to challenge themselves. And the goal, last year, the goal was 1,200 stitches every month on a single piece. And next year, they're doing a challenge for the whole year to double that. So 2,400 stitches 
on a single piece every month. I think next year I want to make it my year of full coverage pieces. I think that's what I want to do. And every month I'll just pick a new piece and work on it and then I will pick a new piece the next month and work on that. And I will keep one one piece that is not full coverage on a Q-snap until it's done. Just in case I need a break, because full coverage pieces tend to be a little overwhelming. They're a lot of work. Sometimes they require a lot of brain power that I don't have. So to have something easier to work on, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to keep one. And then when it's done, when I need a new one, I can start a new one. I think that's what I'm going to try and do. But in order to get there, I have to finish up all these other pieces. Hello, Mr. Sawyer. Hi. Are you coming up to say hi? Video is not complete without a say. Hi. Hello. Hello, big man. So, as I said, I finished three of them already. Um, there are a couple small ones that have not been started yet. But I want to get them done. I started off the year saying that I wanted to get them done. And I still want to get them done. They're little. They're little. So, anyways. So the first one like I say, is going to be my Mira, which is Florentina. I am taking her to camp. Oh, sorry, I'm so fair. She is going to get one full day. One full day on her. I'm going to see how far I can get. What did I put her down for? I had everything written out. So she is going to be on Thursday. She's going to be my Thursday whip. Because Thursday, I'm still feeling pretty fresh. We get there Wednesday. Um, so Wednesday, Wednesday is only kind of a half a day. We get there Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, full days. And then Sunday is a half day as well, too. So let's go back for a second. The other project like I say, is part of this list, is Gathering Honey by Plum Street Samplers. So this is what this one looks like. This is going to be my piece when I get to camp for Wednesday. So it's only half day. It's on a cue snap. I can kind of relax and just kind of work on it kind of an easy piece to stitch on and this is where I am so far on it so I have quite a bit left to do still I am doing this one one over one from 32 count there we go 32 count Highlands, I think is what it's called. It's kind of a yellowy blue. My lighting is awful today because it's been a crappy summer. But this is where I am on it. Um, I have my little Cheshire Cat needle minder because this quote is actually in the Alice in Wonderland animated movie. So it makes me think of Alice in Wonderland. But this is gonna, what I'm going to work on on Wednesday. This is a piece that needs to be finished at the end of the year. I started this. It This camp will be one year, two years since I started this. It needs to be done. And it's really cute. I do like it. 
So I'm stitching it one over one on 32 or 36 count tie lines by Picture This Plus. This needs to be done this year. So that's going to be my project for Wednesday when I get to camp. Thursday, like I say, will be Florentina because it's a bigger piece. It needs a full day work on it. Um, Friday will be One Fairy's Talk because I do want to work on this a little bit more. So this one is going to get some love. We'll see how far I can get on it. It's camp. It's a hade. It's got a lot of confetti to it. But I do want to work on it one more time before it goes away for the rest of the year. So that's going to be Friday. Again, full day, work on a big piece. Now keep in mind, I'm also doing one square a day on Pandora's box. So five squares done on that, two days, one day on the Mira Florentina, one day on Fairy's Talk. I told you, this video is a hot mess. <laughs> I'm really trying to get all this like straight in my head too. Uh, the next day is going to be Saturday, which is also going to be a full, full day. Saturday, kind of usually getting a little stitched out. There's usually a lot more socializing going on than actual stitching. I find too sometimes that by this point, I'm getting sore um, from usually... When I go to camp, I take my Millennium Frame. And I take my... Um, whatever the Nordic Nordic frame stand I take that with me too I usually try and take big pieces that I can work on the frame and I usually swap out on the frame um, usually several times when I'm there I'm gonna try and avoid that and I think if I can recline a little bit maybe I won't get as sore so I'll have two days of being hunched over my frame I'm thinking by Saturday, if I can recline, like I say, maybe I won't be a sore, maybe I'll actually get more stitching done, because normally when I start getting sore, I start getting up and wandering, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm there to make some progress too, right? So, <laughs> so the next day is going to be another... Um, snap piece and that's going to be Quaker Gone Spooky by Michelle Ink and I'm actually really hoping to maybe finish this one up this month I'm hoping I've been working on it actually quite a bit the last couple days I'm using this for my Horrorween, uh, the Stitcher's Coven salve. Um, so the hashtag that we're using on Instagram is hashtag Horrorween TSC salve. So Horrorween Stitcher's Coven salve. So this is a piece that I'm using for that. I have a small problem though this thread right here I don't know if you can see that this is the color that I am using it is Mississippi mud by Southern colors this is the color for the tree um, the pattern said to buy two of them um, it said that you would be okay um, all cross stitch should be done with two strands of silk on the 28 count I'm using 32 count. Um, you'll have to test out your preference on 32 count. I like one strand. I'm using two strands on 32 count, which is smaller than 28 count. Right? Um, get two skeins of the Mississippi mud and the prairie winter. And the others you should be okay with one even on 28 count. I've gone through two skeins of it 
and this is all I have left. Like, there's eight strands here. That's it. And that's the pattern. I don't know if you can see. I have that much left to stitch. Plus what's down below. Not going to be enough. So I did place an order um, with one, two, three stitch because it's just not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Um, and it's so variegated. Like, it's so cool. I love it. Um, there's no substitutions that I believe that you can make once you're two skeins in. So I've been working on this. This is a super tight piece now. And this will be exciting because this is the first time I've seen the entire piece and all the progress that I've made the last little bit. So this is where I am so far. A tree is amazing. How cool is that? Definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. This tree is killing me. It is huge. <laughs> it's like a full page and a half of white chart. It's ridiculous. It's massive. Um, and you have to stitch it up and down. You can't stitch it in short rows across because it won't give the effect. But I have some of the Quaker tombstones done. The owl. Then the angel. And that massive, massive tree. Wow, that looks awesome though. I am loving this. I am so loving this. This needs to be finished hopefully this month. I'd like to have it finished before Halloween. Love to have it finished before Halloween. So that is going to get a full day on Friday. Like I said, I have ordered more of this. It should be here before I go to camp. So I will be ready to go with that. Tuck all that back in later. I might take a photo. Give it a quick press and post the whole picture on Instagram to show the whole thing. So that is going to get a full day at camp. So again, hopefully I can make some decent progress on it. That would be exciting. Okay, and then Sunday is going to be Pandora's box and whatever else I feel like working on that day. Because, like I say, Sunday is only going to be a half day. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to get the block done that I want. And that will be probably all the time that I have because then I have to start packing up. I need to clean up the room, load up the car, etc., etc., etc. And we have to be out of there by, I think, 2 o'clock. So I usually stay stitch until after brunch and then start packing up and getting going. So that is camp, camp plans. I'm hoping to have Quaker Gone Spooky done by the end of this month. There's one other project I want to have done by the end of this month. Actually, I'm hoping to have this done by camp. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know what piece I'm talking about. And it is the Summer Afternoon by Chatelaine. Loving this. Absolutely loving this. This piece is so beautiful. So beautiful right now. Oh, my needle, my vision. I need to get a tape project bags. Oh. <clears throat> I am hoping to have this finished before camp. So close. So close to finishing a Chatelaine this year. Not a full size Chatelaine, but it's kind of. Whoop. Ah, sorry, Sawyer. 
this kind of um, shocked me with how much work was going to be in such a small, small design. So, if you guys remember, this is what the top of this looked like. So, I have not done any of the beads on this piece yet. I am leaving all of those till the end. Um, so I had done all the top, I had done the beads, this is what I had done last time at camp, is I had just finished these little, little bees here. Um, and then I've done the hive piece. So this hive is all queen stitches. So I don't know if you can see. Oh my gosh, they look so amazing. Um, the instructions actually said to fill it in like the blank spots with um, cross stitches one over one. I like the open look of it. So I'm going to keep it as is because I don't want it to look as solid as uh, Martina kind of suggests. My personal preference, that's just what I feel like doing. So I finished all of that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. Um, I did these little bugs down here, and then this next block. So pretty. Oh my goodness. So this I did, and if you were following me on Instagram, and I believe my name is Cat one again on Instagram so feel free to follow me um, this block I was doing I did kind of the outline and then for each of these blocks that I filled in every color I would take a photo so you guys kind of got an idea of what I was looking at as it stitched up color by color it's kind of cool so there are eyelets in here these are road stitches, these guys, uh, rice stitches, those are so cool, the way that they shaped up. This color here, this is, um, I think it's called Golden Grains by Gloriana. Gorgeous color, absolutely love it. And then this really sparkly Krynik. And treasure braid butterfly which is not getting the sparkle that it deserves and now I'm working on this band down here um, I can't remember what these are called kind of a cool stitch and then the one over one flowers again with this I took a picture um, one color at a time Oh, sorry, this color right here, it's not called Golden Grains, it's called um, Antique Brass. This one here that is the outline is Golden Grains by um, Gloriana. And this Antique Brass is so pretty. It's like blue and gold. So gorgeous. Um, so I'm just working on this band right here. Um, there's going to be some half stitches that fill in the backgrounds, and then there's going to be a another... Algerian, no, not an eyelet. I think another road stitch is going to go in each of these flowers. And then some beads. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And then I have one other small band and then basically another, another band similar to the top. Um, just some flowers that's going to go on the bottom. But that is what it is looking like so far. Wow, that is so pretty. I love this. And I have all the seasons um, for these bell pulls to do. But I started with this one because I had it all kitted up and ready to go. So, oh, it's so beautiful. But I'm hoping to have this finished by camp. Then I can take it and show it off. Um, so super close, super close to being done. Oh. 
this. Yeah. Ugh. So, I'm hopefully going to have that finished. So that will be another one crossed off my list. Plus the Quaker Gone Spooky. Hopefully those two will get crossed off my list this this month. I know. It's uh, a lot to do, but we'll see. I have faith. I have a week of holidays. After, actually, after I'm back from camp, I'm off for the next week after that. So, hopefully. Hopefully I will have some decent stitching time. So, the other things that I want to finish are some smalls that I have. Um, and they're little. They're super little. But I have them and I want to do them. So, these might be good projects for um, December because I'm super busy with work. So, to get maybe three of these done that month, it's not unheard of. I think it's doable. Um, like I said, they're small. So, if I can get everything else done in the next like two months, not going to happen, I'm sure. Who knows? Um, then I should be in good shape for December. We'll see. Okay, so the first one is going to be Witchy Sister Mouse. So it comes with the little accessory pack. I am going to stitch her on this blue, bluey gray fabric. So she'll be like a little gray mouse. And she's got like a little pumpkin on her backside and little ghosts looks like some little spiders around her. So that is project number one that I want to get that I have to start and finish this year. The other one is going to be Little Hedgy, which again is by Just Nan. And again, super quick, super easy, not going to take a lot of time at all. But bottom, want to finished. So that's project number two. Project number three is going to be Oakley Owl, which is this little guy here. Again, super little. Not really a lot of stitching on them. Most of the work is actually in finishing these little guys, but they're cute. They stitch up fast. I have the patterns. I have everything. Might as well put them together. And the last one that I want to finish is this little Mill Hill kit, which is the buzz. So I want to do this because I think this is pretty little. I think I have a good chance of finishing this up. Um, probably I could do it in a weekend. Maybe. So, four small projects on top of what I've already started. Not, not unreasonable as far as I'm concerned. We'll see. So now, let's talk about what I finished. Because I have three of them. And these are, well, two of them are things that I had started that are now finished. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen all of these, but... Whatever, you get to see them again. Um, and then one of them, I just needed to start and finish. So um, I started and finished something. So let's do that one first. And that is going to be Miss Witchy Mouse. So not her sister. So that was the pattern. And this is what she turned out like. How... Adorable is she. Not the best job on that part, but then her little tail.
tail with the little spider in the back. Her little hat, I sewed it through and then I attached, I don't know if you can see, there's a small bead there. That's how I attached her hat. It said to do it with a bit of glue. She's got a really cute base on her. So she stands upright. She was a little finicky to finish. I think the owls were a little easier, but... Um, and then she's got her little whiskers. So cute. So cute. She took me... I started her Friday. I worked on her the Friday night. Um, and then I finished her up the next weekend. So I pretty much worked on her maybe two days. Maybe two days? Maybe three days. Um, all together. So she's done. The next one that I finished is a canvas piece that I had been working on for several years. Finally finished it. This is my first canvas piece I've ever done too. And this is Autumn Leaves by Nancy's Needle. So this is the chart. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. It's really pretty. I had done, I think up to the gold, um, the gold line. So I had all of this to do and then the diamonds and then the edge to do. Super happy with the way this turned out. I don't know what to do with it though. It's on canvas. I wonder if I just trim it and throw it in a frame. Because it's pretty square. I'm actually surprised. Um, you're supposed to put it on stretcher bars, but I didn't. I just did the whole thing in hand. And it turned out okay. So I finished that up. This was actually really easy. It didn't take a lot of brain power. Not a lot of counting either, once you kind of got going. I might do another canvas piece in the future. I don't know when, but it's not something I would not do again. Um, so that's done. And then the next one is da, 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 Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Sampler. I changed a large portion of the colors and kind of did my own thing with it. So this is on a piece of 32 count Wren, I think. 32 count. I know the color is Wren um, by Silk Weavers. No, sorry, by Picture This Plus. And this is Coffee Quaker Finished. So like I say, I kind of did my own, my own colors with it. Some of them were the called for, but I didn't necessarily use them in the right spot. But I am so super happy with the way that this turned out. So I need to frame it and put it in my kitchen. That's the goal. I was trying to hold in my hand. So, so all the motifs. And I know I'm not the last person to finish this, but I kind of feel like I am. <laughs> but, like I say, I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I'm happy with the fabric that I chose. And I can honestly say I think this is my first Quaker I've ever done. First time for everything, I guess, right? So, I need to frame that or do something with it. This is going to go to camp, though, to show off to everybody. Um, yeah, so those are my three finishes. Those are my stitching plans for the rest of the year. I 
kind of talked a little bit about my stitching plans for next year. Um, I do have one other piece um, that is not a full coverage that I didn't talk about. It is Air Dragon by Love Thy Heart. What is it called? Cross My Heart Designs. As far as I know, it's out of print. Um, I've done two of the four. Um, this is the third one I've been working on. I might actually make that my relaxing piece for next year if I get all of this accomplished. Um, work on that until it's done with the full coverage pieces and then I can start something new. That one has been a work in progress for years, years. Like by years I mean probably eight. <laughs> and I haven't worked on it for such a long time. Um, the main reason is because I used to be a one at a timer. Obviously not anymore. But I also never used to cross off my chart, so I really need to go through and I need to highlight and figure out exactly where I am. That's going to take some time. But I do want that one finished too, eventually. And then I have one other one left to do in that series. So, that's it for stitching. I'm going to talk a little bit about knitting. Um, not a whole lot, but kind of a similar thing. There are certain things that I want finished by the end of this year. Up to you if you want to stay and listen to me ramble about that for a bit. If you don't, thank you for joining me. Um, I appreciate um, you hanging in there while I was on my three month long hiatus and hopefully now I will be back more regularly. Um, so thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for any comments that you leave, any likes, I appreciate everything. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I will put my name down below. I believe it's MiskaCat1, but don't quote me. Um, so follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, um, I've been busy making project bags. Um, that's another thing that I'm trying to do too as well. I'm trying to get really settled, um, get like a large collection up for camp. Um, so if you don't know, my mom and I do make project bags. We have an Etsy store. Um, the store name is Cats Out of the Bag. I will link that down below as well, too. Hi. Come here. I will link that down below as well, too. So if you're looking for project bags, go check them out. Um, the ones that we make are very big and roomy. They have flat bottom on them um, because a lot of the projects that I do have um, the bobbin boxes so I'll show you this one so it's flat bottomed it's got my bobbin box my pattern and what a large pattern it is um, the edges are all nicely finished on the inside and then we put a fancy zipper fob on the end um, with the ring on the side. Um, so if you're looking for project bags, feel free to check out our store. Um, we're playing with some new ideas as well too. So hopefully those will be in the store soon. We'll see if we can find the right supplies that we need to make it work. I'm excited. <laughs> Um, so we're making some bags. I take them to camp. Um, Catherine lets me sell them in her store, which is awesome. Um, she has a couple in her store here in Edmonton. Um, but it's nice to sell them at camp because she brings her store with her. And like I say, she's allowing me to bring um, bags as well, too. So I need to get sewing as well, too. <laughs> so many things on the go. Um, so between that and the stitching and the little bit of knitting which is not my friend at the moment. See how well I transitioned into that? Um, it's been very busy. So, three months. I've made, I think, pretty good use of my time. So, like I say, if you're not interested in knitting, um, thank you for watching this much and listening to me ramble. 
Um, I know it was kind of a hot mess of a video, but whatever. Here it is. Cat's going crazy. Um, so yeah. Um, if you're going to tune out, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And now if you are going to stick around for the little bit of knitting that I have, let's get at it. hear that? He does that up to me every morning. It's annoying. Okay. The first thing I will show you, um, well, like I say, I will tell you knitting has not been my friend. I think I showed you guys this one last time. This is my Luna Moth shawl. That's what it's going to look like. This is a free pattern. I've mucked this up so bad. Oh. Almost lost you guys. I've mucked this up so bad. Um, doesn't look like it. This is where it is. I had six rows. Six rows. Left to knit. And something went horribly, horribly wrong. So I've had to unknit from that point six rows. I still don't know what row I'm on. I'm not at the right stitch count yet. So I need to rip out another, hope, hopefully no more than two rows. I'm looking at the back. Just the front. And hopefully I will be able to figure out where I am I don't know. I'm supposed to have either 211 or 215 stitches and I have 213. I don't know. Shawl is like the bane of my existence. I don't even know if I want to keep it when it's done. There's been so many times this thing has almost ended up in the garbage. And the worst thing is, I think I mentioned it before. I've knit this pattern before. Don't know why I'm struggling so bad with it this time. Not impressed though. So this is something, again, like the cross stitching. I want to have this done by the end of the year. I want to have it done. It's doable. Um, the other thing that I want to have done is I want to have a pair of spider socks. Um, I made them for my friend last time we went to camp. I want to have a pair done for me, so I need to finish those. Those took me about three weeks, just on its own. So, um, I want to finish spider socks for myself, I want to finish that shawl, if it kills me. Um, I started another pair of socks, kind of showed them to you last time. These are Devil Snare Socks by Erica Luder. That's what they look like. This is how far I got. I am stitching this with a normal yarn. I have the front all done. How cool is that pattern? It actually shows up really nice right now. So I've done that. But if you notice, I have a needle in a weird wonky spot while I was doing the heel. Do you see that stitch right there? Yeah, I dropped it. <laughs> so I need to frog out the heel at least until here. I'm telling you, knitting has not been my friend lately. Um, so I need to finish these. This pair of socks. Um, I think once I get, rip that out, frog it out, whatever you want to call it, it should be okay. I think it's just because the yarn was so dark in that spot and I was working on it at night and the lighting wasn't good and I was working on it really, really fast because I was excited and wanting to get stuff done and I think it just, it slipped off and I forgot all about it. So I need to rip out about 
happen to heal. Sorry. Cleaning, you guys. This video. So I need to finish that. So I have a sock and a half ish left to do on that. Doable. Uh, the other thing that I have, and this is probably the fastest thing that I can finish. This could take me like an hour and it would probably be done. Is, and I don't have a picture of it, it's the Outlander Cowl. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I don't know who designed it. Actually, let me see here. Ah, cat. A cat. Ah. Cat. Ugh. Come here. Um, it is a free pattern by... Who did it? It does not say who did it. It just says Claire's Cowl from the Outlander series. No designer. Easiest pattern ever. Ever. Um, I'm not doing it in the yarn it recommended. I am doing it in Malabrigo. Uh, 043 Rast Rasta. It is a very thick yarn. It is very, very thick. Um, and you knit it two strands together. This thing is huge. So this is what I have done so far. So you knit it two together on these giant, giant needles. This is three balls now of yarn. It's not a cheap shawl or cowl, um, but it's just, it's straight knit. Straight knit, super easy need to make it bigger but this could probably get done I think this maybe took me maybe two hours to knit this much super fast super big super bulky super squishy super super squishy so I basically have this left to use and then I am casting off and blocking it and however big it is is gonna be how big it is because but this could probably get done in like an hour, like I say. So that I need to finish. Super easy. Not worried about that one at all. And the other thing, oh, I forgot my other shawl. The other thing that I need to finish, I have one done. These are the Mosey Leg Warmers. This was a free pattern on Nitty. So these are leg warmers. I obviously have to weave the ends in. But they are cabled. They're super cute. They have a cable pattern in the back. And they're kind of flared at the bottom. So they're not like typical leg warmers. And then they just have that really nice rib up at the top. Um, there are two eyelet holes right here. So you do an eye cord and then you attach pom-poms. Super cute. And I want these for work because, believe it or not, it is getting chilly here already. And I want these to wear with my work uniform for those days that it's kind of cool when you start or it's kind of cool at the end of your day. 
but then like you don't want to wear pants because then you're too hot for half the day so I need to finish those so this is as far as I've gotten on the second the second one I'm actually right to the point now where I need to do the eyelet eyelet row so once I'm done that then I just do a little bit more two over two or two by two ribbing and then I can start the actual pattern part I have one more project I forgot to grab it I will be right back so last project that I need to finish by the end of the year <laughs> I told you these are ridiculous plans ridiculous um, this one's probably pretty close too I actually don't have a whole lot left to do on this one either so pretty this is October glory cowl by canary sanctuary this was in notions free pattern as well say who designed it Teresa at Canary Knits or Canary, Sa Canary Sanctuary on Ravelry. So this is October Glory. I love this. Love this. It's so pretty. Um, and I'm doing this in. Midnight Boutique by Red Heart. So this is the yarn. I'm doing it in colorway. Harvest. Where's this where they put the price tag? Harvest something. It was on clearance when I bought Harvest Moon. When I bought this ball. I don't think it was on sale when I bought the first one, but I stocked up just in case I needed a second ball. So it's probably been discontinued. Um but it was a nice autumn color. I love this yarn. It's not the best to work with, but it's really pretty for this. So this is what it is looking like. How pretty are those colors? There we go. Oh, so pretty. Really simple pattern. Really simple. I have to knit it, I think, until it's 13 inches. So I'm almost there. Oh, so pretty. And then you knit these little falling leaves down here. I have one knit already. So that's what that looked like. Oh, so pretty. This obviously needs to be black still, but we'll open up the centers, give me some nice points on there hopefully. So I have one of these knit, I have two more left to do. This is as far as I've gotten on the shawl, so pretty. Hopefully it'll work. And then you just attach some ribbon and voila. Easy peasy. I'll have all of this done by the end of the year. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Um, actually, I'm pretty confident that I can get most of it done. The only one that really kind of worries me is Zamira. That me might be the one thing that kind of gives. I think everything else I do actually have a fighting chance to do. Um, just Zamira kind of... There's still a lot to do on her, but we'll see. Um, and the shawl. The mirror and the shawl. Because the shawl, not my friend. But, those are the goals. Those are the goals for the rest of the year. So hopefully, 
there's going to be a whole lot of finishes. Obviously not any new starts because I'm all about the finishes right now. I need to get, I have so many full coverage pieces that I need to get progress on that I haven't touched in years, some of them. And I really want to see some of them done. I want to see them framed and hanging up on my wall. And that's what's kind of, I think, driving me to get a lot of these smaller projects done so that I can exclusively focus on the full coverage. So that's the plan. That is the plan. And hopefully it all goes according to plan. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you for sticking through this gong show of a video. But hey, it's done now. Um, thank you for all the likes and subscriptions and following me on Instagram and everything else. I hugely appreciate it. Um, cheer me on because I need a little bit of encouragement for some of these. <laughs> but... Um, Thank you so much for hanging in with me, and hopefully there's going to be a whole lot of finishes in the next couple months. And like I say, now that um, my husband's going to be back at work more regularly now on the weekends, because um, that's the other thing too, is that he works like at best an afternoon shift, usually they're evening shifts. So even if I get home from work, it's getting dark and winter's coming and the lighting is horrid and I still can't do a video even if he's gone. So I need him to not be here on the weekend. So hopefully now that he's going to be back at work more regularly, hopefully I can get back into the swing of things with um, doing more regular videos. Um, if I'm going to get as much stitching and um, knitting and everything else done as I think I am in my my brain um, maybe I'll try and increase the videos a little bit I don't know don't hold your breath on that because I'm so unreliable with you know say for example vlogging we all know how well that turned out I had really good intentions and that just didn't happen so don't hold your breath on it but we'll see if I feel like I have enough um, progress done. Maybe I'll do more regular videos. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do a video when I get back from camp. I'll be able to show you guys all the amazing progress I got done. My five squares on my Pandora's box and the mirror dress will be done and or maybe her over one skin will be done. If I can get her arm done I will be happy. <laughs> um, I will hopefully have that Chatelaine finished. I need to finish Quaker Dawn Spooky. I'm just so many things so many things I'm excited I'm excited to get all these done and then I can start something new maybe halfway through the year next year we'll see how well that goes too but um there is one other thing I want to mention um if I can find it without this is on Mr. X Stitches um blog um I'm running out of time for this this is something I might take to camp with me too. Oh my god. And you guys all just saw where my leg picture is supposed to be. It's not there yet. Good times. <laughs> light fixture up there plus the hole in the light switch. Where the light switch is supposed to be right here behind me. Yeah, that's a work in progress too. Um, where was I? Uh, Mr. X-Stitch. Um, so he is doing the not very top secret Christmas stitch bobble project. So he is decorating a huge Christmas tree in Europe somewhere. I don't know where. I'm really bad with details. You can download and print out these patterns free on his blog. So Mr. X Stitch, I will put the link down below. Um, print these out. They need to be in the deadlines coming up. I think by the end of this month. 
You can stitch one or more of these on 14 count fabric. They have to be on 14 count because he needs to be able to frame them all the same. Pick whatever colors you want and then you get the address. Um, it tells you where and then you send them in and he's going to decorate this giant Christmas tree with all these baubles. So these are what the patterns look like. Like I say, they're free. Go to his website, get them and stitch them send them in, uh, be part of this, and I might take one of these to camp. Maybe I can whip one of these up. They look pretty easy. I'll have to see if I have 14 count first. Um, but if you want to take part in this, I will put the link down below. Um, like I say, I, it's, the time is getting close to the end of it, so um, if you're interested, go do it right away. Um, and on that, I'm going to leave it. Thank you again for watching this mess. <laughs> and hopefully next time the video will be a little bit more organized. But thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and thank you for um, hanging in there with me. So take care, guys.